So it's just the e.l.f. Uh, mm, oh, okay. I don't know which. Okay, it's not focusing. That's really nice. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kira. In today's video, we are doing this makeup look. It's very bronzy and it's kind of like a summer night out makeup look. I'm just going to dinner. I really like how it turned out. I used a little bit of color under the eyes. I did a lot of like bronzer and blush, kind of more focusing on the skin. There's some color on the bottom and some like brown bronzy shades on the top if you guys aren't subscribed i would love if you would subscribe and if you want to see how i got this look and what products i use just keep on watching so i put my hair back for now and i have some new stuff i want to use like i have the maddie ziegler palette i want to use i'm really not good with eyeshadow but we're gonna give it a whirl yeah, I said whirl. My skin right now is very dry, so I really have to keep it moisturized. I'm breaking out a little bit, as we can see. Um, they're kind of more just fading now, so it's just more red. I really wanted to go back to a brush and see how it goes. So I want to just do like a glowy makeup look, nothing too crazy, but just very like bronze and kind of like I've been in the sun, even though I'm like so pale right now and I have not been in the sun, I've been inside, but that's what we're going to do. I got the Sephora 64 brush. Um, I saw someone else using this and they said it was like their ride or die. So we're going to try it out. But first, I always work on my eyes and some primer first. I don't usually put primer on just because I don't usually go out for long enough to need primer, but today we're doing it. So it's just the e.l.f. Um, oh, okay. It's just the e.l.f. Putty Primer. Um, I don't know if it actually does anything. I feel like it does, honestly, because usually when I use it, my makeup lasts for a long time. Um, and I don't see as much creasing on my face. So we're going to put this just in the areas that I want no creasing. Just smear it over my eyes. I don't know if it's meant for that, but we're going in with her palette. It's so pretty. I kind of want to go in with a color. Um, first, we're just going to use a light brown shade. And kind of put that on the lid everywhere. So we got the brown. I don't know. I think I might go in with like a sparkle. I think I'm going to go in with To The Moon which is just like the brown, this right here. Ooh, this one, the brown sparkly shade. Ooh, I really like the orange next to it. I don't know which. Okay, it's not focusing, that's really nice. I think I'm gonna actually go in with the orangey one. It's called And Back. And I'm just going to put it all over my lid and then i haven't done it before but putting the tape there there we go i put like that orangey shade on my lids and I'm just wiping off my hands. And now I'm gonna use the same brown that I started with and kind of blend out the edges because we want it all nice and blended. Okay, I think that looks good so far. I'm gonna take just a like eyeliner pencil brush and go in with the 
dark color right here. Um, the dark brown, it's called ASAP. Let's do a wing. What? I mean, I'll take it. That's not bad. Like, what? That looks pretty nice. This one's a little bit higher, but there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> okay, we're moving on. I don't want to waste too much time on my eyes. I think they look good, so we're just going to leave it at that. The thing I really want to focus on the most is my face makeup because I really want that to be like the glowy part foundation that I'm using is just the uh, Born This Way Too Faced. Can't really see, my thing doesn't focus well, but. And I just put it on my hand and I just dot it on my face. And then I actually don't even remember how you're supposed to do it when you have a brush. I totally forgot um, that I was using a brush, but I'm gonna just blend it in with my brush. Wow, this is so weird. I feel like I'm getting more coverage with the brush and not the beauty blender. I feel like the beauty blender, because I damp it, it kind of soaks into the sponge. And I feel like with a brush, it kind of just goes straight on. Why do I look like that on camera? Like it doesn't look like it matches, but it does in real life. Trust me. Okay, now we're gonna go in with concealer. using my brush to blend in the concealer. I feel like it went on really smooth. Like it's definitely a way different like face of makeup that I usually am used to. I feel like there's a lot more coverage and I think it's just because this is so dense, but I really, really, really like it. Then we're gonna go in with a cream contour stick. Actually really, well, yeah, let's do this first. So I really like lather this on. Um, I just put it in the contour areas. And then I use the KKW um, contour stick for my nose. We're looking good. I really like how this is coming out. I think it's a very like bronze look so far. I always get creases under my eyes. Like really quick, my Laura Mercier setting powder. 
I love this powder so much. Next thing I want to use is the Maddie Ziegler Cheek Duo. It's very creamy, like, and I really like the consistency of it. I kind of like, I don't go straight on the apples, I kind of go up. Just give you like a flush of color. So next we're gonna go in with the contour palette from Anastasia. And I really just do this not to contour more, just to like bronze my face up. I go over my face. And I really like a like bronzier, you know, that's the goal, right? Bronze it up. And then this is like my favorite. This is by NARS and look how pretty that is. I don't know if you can see, I don't know if that actually works, but I just take a very light fluffy brush and dip it in and I lightly because a lot of this goes a long way. Kind of put it everywhere. That really made a difference. I go in with the brows, so I just like to Kind of fluff them up. I already have really dark eyebrows, so doing this takes me like a few seconds. I don't like making them look too dark or like too filled in. I kind of just like making them look natural. I literally haven't gotten my eyebrows done since. <laughs> Quarantine, so it's kind of a disaster, but it's fine. I'm going to add an eyeliner on my lash line, like on the inner lash line. I'm running out. Okay. I usually do the bottom, but I wanted to kind of like make the eyes pop a little bit, so I did the bottom. And I'm actually going to add a little pop of color on my lash line. So I think I'm gonna do the green. The green will look cool. Take me to your soul. I don't put any mascara on the bottom just because I don't really like it like that. And the last two steps, I'm going to use a lip liner. This is Revlon. And then we're going over with the Maddie Ziegler gloss. Let's do that. The last step, the very last step I'm actually gonna do is liquid highlighter. 
may pop. And just see how much that like. And this is the final look. I think it looks so good. I don't usually put a lot of makeup on like this, but I thought it was a good occasion to do so. Yeah, do you like it? Mm -hmm. Okay guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.